Well, welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I'm an old guy gaming, and we're going to do our second washing here. Uh, so as you can see, everything is now at 100%, uh, which is great. So um, let's see here. First order of business is um, we're just going to disconnect these like we did before. I ended up not changing the water. Um, and so I, I just left uh, all of the, the three washing machines uh, on that line, and I disconnected that line up there so we would have plenty of water. Um, and then this is the progress I've made over here, too, as you can see. Now, if you get down here, you, you can kind of glitch through and see how close we are um, to the, you know, to the ground level of the dig, which is kind of interesting. So we're not too much further away. However, it is getting really steep in here. So, um... I don't know if you know if that's going to end up being too steep or not. If it does, we might have to go rent a bulldozer for a day and and kind of make a, a little bit more of a smoother ramp down there. But we'll see how things go with that. Uh, but anyways, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get enough gold to uh, we you know uh, to pay for the dump truck, the hopper, and the conveyor belt, which we're currently renting. In case you haven't watched the previous episodes. I'm already up to 61.9 ounces in this washout. I'm expecting this this washing to get us very close to to 100 ounces, and then that'll probably give us enough money to 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 do that. And if it doesn't, then at the very least we will stop renting the, the dump truck and the conveyor belt. Those are the two most expensive things, and we'll buy those and continue to rent the hopper for just a little bit longer. Okay, so that's pretty much where we are. So let's go ahead and get situated here. Um, I'm going to put uh, this stuff over here. And I'm also, well, we don't really need to turn any lights on because my headlamp works pretty good for this. So I think we'll be okay with that. All right, so let's come up here first and we'll start with, uh, oh, I need to put, put a bucket down there. That's right. I forgot some, forgot that. Um, because this is going to be our clean out from the grates. There we go. Okay, so we'll put that bucket in there. Uh, we'll get out our little shovel and start cleaning. See, Let's see how, what we got. So again, uh, I'm probably just going to time lapse this, you guys. Um, and then I'll just see you guys at the end. We'll put some, some tunes on and stuff. So yeah, we're at 61.9. Let's see if we can hit 100 by the end of this. Here we go.
We made 103.3 ounces. That's not too bad. Not too shabby. Okay, let's get the rest of this put back together. And then we are going to run into town, smelt, and sell, and then return. Uh, hopefully be able to turn all three of those rentals, but at least the most expensive ones. Okay, so I think everything's set back up correctly over here. And we just have to get these mosses back in place in the great crates on top of them and we'll be in good shape okay we're pretty much back in business here uh, let's put a bucket here and a bucket here and we'll run this other one uh, back up here again this one doesn't actually have to be in place during the plant operation but it's a good idea to have it there Just save us that one last step Okay, so now we want to reattach this, and we want to unattach that. And we also want to reattach these two guys to here. There we go. The water is flowing, except for we're going to go turn it off now. Because <laughs> we got to go, we got to go uh, make some money here, baby. So the sound isn't working on this, but it was turned on. And it is using fuel, uh, as is our generator, but not at an alarming rate. So, okay, let's turn all of that off. And, uh, yeah, I think we're ready to, to roll on into town. Let's take a look and see what the price is. Let's see, stock. Yeah, 12.10. That's not too bad. Um, in fact, yeah, it's, it's come back up, so it's started to dip down a little bit, but that's good. Okay. Let's jump in the truck here. What time is it? It's, uh, yeah, it's only 7.30. It seems like it's off a lot later than it is, but yeah, it's only 7.30, which is good. So we should have enough time to do this and get that stuff returned before the next day, and that means we only have to pay the rental on it for one day. So that was kind of what I was hoping to accomplish here. Right, I'll see you guys in town. Okay, here we are at our blacksmith friend's house. Um, let's go ahead and smelt our first bar, and we can do an 80 ounce bar with the magnetite upgrades we did last time. And it's going to cost us four thousand dollars, and we're going to lose four ounces, which is way better than it was before. So we'll get this first one smelted, and then we'll we'll have um, a smaller bar after this. All right, guys, here we are at the bank. Let's go ahead and hop out. Uh, we have a full uh, 78 or no, 76 ounce bar here and then another 22.1 ounce bar. And I got the big old lag bug again. I have to restart the game. OK, so let's take, check the stock again. It dropped just a little bit, but not enough to be super significant. So let's go ahead and sell and sell and sell okay that gets us up to 139 and I, I was roughly estimating we needed about 150 so what we're going to do is we're going to return the dump truck and the and the conveyor belt but we're going to keep the hopper thingamadoodle um, I, I do need to double check and make sure though that I'll still have enough money left over after I do that. So let's go to the machine shop and just double check those prices. Okay, 
Okay, so we're gonna hop out here. So to buy the the dumpy, hmm, that's 114 just by itself, which would leave us 25 left ish. And what does this cost? Oh uh, yeah, that's that's more than I thought it was gonna be, right? Okay, well. We're going to go ahead and just return the dump truck then, and then we're going to buy our own dump truck. And then we're going to have to do an, another clean out or two before we can um, do the conveyor belt and the uh, the hopper. Uh, that's fine, though. Uh, not a problem. We, we can handle that. Uh, okay, so that means we need to go back to, well, let's actually buy the dump truck right now because otherwise we're going to have to come back here again. All right, so add that. Order. And we are now the proud owners of a shiny new, well, not so shiny, uh, dump truck. Oh, we got to get we got to get the other one off our property first because we're already at 3-3. Three, three. Okay, that's fine. Well, we're going to just have to come back here. That's all there's to it because I don't want to spend money on the thing the transportation thing on the tablet yet. We will do that eventually, but I'm not quite at the, the place where I'm ready to do that. I, I don't want to make myself completely broke because we still need some capital, you know, to operate for repairs, fuel, that sort of thing. So we need to, we need to, you know, make sure we don't completely drain our money. So we'll return um, the, the dump truck n now, and then we'll run, we'll have to come back here and transport the, our new dump truck, the one we actually own. Uh, and then we'll have to wait on the conveyor belt and the hopper, but that's fine. The rental on those are, you know, it's quite a bit less than the dump truck was anyway, so we won't have to pay too much money for that stuff. I, in fact, I could even, I could probably get a whole nother wash and maybe even two more if I really cruised it, but I, I'm thinking about sleeping for the night just because I don't want to work in the dark, and I don't have enough money yet to, to get the big light. I do plan on doing that eventually also. So I'd rather just work in the daytime. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're just going to sleep the night. Okay, so let's turn this guy off and run over and grab the dumpy. dumpity doo We already own the front loader because we bought that as part of the tutorial, so that's good. And let's jump in you. Enter. Uh, there we go. That was weird. Make sure we hit the stake. Crunch. Beautiful. We don't need no stinking stakes. Oh, I put the the other hog pen in here with <laughs> with pay dirt in it. Um, here, let's just keep that there for now. And you have to kind of keep this stuff over to the right, or at least pull it far enough forward, or it'll say you don't have enough room to get out. All right, we're good. Okay, let's return this sucker. Sell it back. Confirm. Boom. All right, good. So we don't have to pay rent on the dump truck. We only we only had to pay rent on it for one day, which is great. But like I said, those two things we're gonna we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. So we still have twenty five thousand uh, in uh, in money. I was gonna say in gold, but not in gold and money. So let's run back to the transport or the machinery shop and transport our dump truck back to our property. And then they were going to sleep and get a fresh start in the morning. Okay, transport dump truck to property. Move machine, pay 1500 bucks. It is a done deal. We now are the proud owners, ladies and gentlemen.
well, we already have been, but we're now the proud owners on our property of our very own dump truck. It's a beautiful thing. There she is. Okay. Okay, let's turn uh, off our pickup truck. And uh, we'll... let's go to sleep. I'm actually tired in real life too. <laughs> um, so, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna cut the video here. I'm going to go to sleep in real life, <laughs> and then uh, when I wake up tomorrow morning in real life and in the game, uh, I'll bring you guys back and we'll fire up, fire everything up and start moving some more dirt. Uh, but like I said, I think we need we're we're gonna probably want two more full washings before we, oh, yikes uh, before we can um, return the conveyor and the hopper and then just outright buy it so that is the plan okay I'll see you guys in the morning both in the game and in real life <laughs> was a good nice sleep nothing like a hard day's work to help you sleep well at night even when you have wolves howling and crickets chirping and stuff uh, <laughs> all right you guys good morning uh we are back in uh gold rush it is the next day in real life and uh the next day in the game and uh, it's a little a little bit lighter out now so we'll be able to see in fact what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go into the settings and i'm going to bump the time up to 12x and just let that run till you know it gets a little brighter outside, and then we'll turn it back down uh, to one X. Uh, otherwise, yeah, it's going to stay dark and gloomy like this for quite some time. So let's see. The first thing we want to do is go over and get our new dump truck that we ourselves own. We are the proud owners of this dump truck, uh, and get that in position. Then we're going to fire up the plant and get to digging some dirt. Yes, indeed. Let's make some gold today. Okay, so we will park right here. And, um, yeah, that should be good to go there. I'm a little concerned about how steep this is getting, but I'm going to keep at it until it becomes apparent, if it becomes apparent, that it is too steep. And then we're going to have to go to a plan B. But hopefully we can make that work. Right, let's, uh, we got 17% fuel in here. Uh, so let's uh, turn this on. And fire up the plant here. You know, we don't actually need the wavetable magnetite separator and nuggetator on uh, while we're running the actual dirt itself. So we'll turn that off just to save ourselves a little bit of power. And I think we're good, yeah. Did I have a little... Yeah, I must have had a little bit of dirt in the hopper still, so... We're good to go on that. Let's just make sure everything's on and working. That all looks good. We got water flowing. We got shaking and rolling. And rocking. And flowing. Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and uh, move some dirt, you guys.
hundred people trying to get through the door, although the room's already crowded. But I'll keep shining over you all when your wings entwining. You better face the fall and keep trying again. Oh yeah, keep trying Okay, looks like our fuel filter went out. Um, can't even turn it, <laughs> turn this on to dump this other bit of dirt out. So uh, let's turn the lights off and fix our first fuel filter. So looks like we have to open this up, take that off, and yeah. All right, uh, let's head on into town and grab this fuel filter. We're gonna turn everything off though first because. Obviously, there's no point in running it whilst we're gone. And we, we need to, uh, you know what we might actually want to do? Why don't we take this into town and refill it up too? Because uh, we're going to need some more fuel. And maybe what we'll do before we even do that is we'll uh, just use what, what's currently in there. Uh, okay, good enough. <laughs> good enough. Okay, so let's do you for about half of... Oh, try, trying to get to it. Oh, for goodness sakes. Come on, get up there. It's not letting me get up there. Do I have to get on the tire? There we go. We're still not really up there. Okay, so we'll let that get down to about 15% and then we'll put the rest in the dump truck. All right, now we gotta get up here and put it Oh, it's on this side. There we go. Okay. And that'll get, you know, some fuel in both of our machines here. And then we'll fill up the tank, put half of it in the generator, half of it in the well. I don't know if I'm going to put half of it in the water pump because I want to change that water pump out for an electric. Just because then it's one less thing we have to, to fuel. Though, you know, that means the generator will use even more fuel, but still... That's not something we're going to do immediately, though. I'm just curious, how much fuel did that give us now? Oh, 
okay, not too bad. Not too bad. It looks like it's a 61%. Well, no. That 61% must mean something else because the fuel gauge itself, that's, that's more like 90%. Anyway, that should uh, keep both of these vehicles fueled up for quite some time. And now, let's run into town. We're going to get ourselves a, a fuel filter. Might even just buy two. And fill up our fuel tank. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys something. When when rent rolled around this morning, I went in the negative. Look at my money. I don't even have money to buy gas or a fuel filter. Ooh. Okay, so completely forgot about that all right here's what we're gonna have to do we're gonna have we're gonna have to just clean what we have to get some money because it's not gonna let me i don't think it's gonna let me buy anything i could take a loan but i'm not gonna do that because you know then we have to pay interest and all that crap too darn it well i'm glad i noticed it before we got into town though at least right okay well this whatever clean out yeah we're 23 percent so this washing should uh, should give us enough money to get out of debt and buy some fuel and buy a fuel filter. I'm, I'm sure it will. We'll, so, yeah. All right, guys. Well, you've seen me do this a couple of times now. So I'm just going to uh, do the clean out and get the gold. And I'll meet you in town for the fuel filter and, the, and getting some more fuel. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Actually, hold on a second. I take that back. I think we're going to end the episode. <laughs> <laughs> We're out of time here, actually. So I'm going to do everything I just said, except for that we'll start the next episode when I get back with the new fuel filter and uh, the fuel. So, yeah. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share with the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.